Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Mseni Mdabadi met with the former president Uhuru Kenyatta in Nigeria during the swearing in of the Nigeria president. And uh, beside that main event, Mdabadi got a time to meet Uhuru Kenyatta one on one, sit down, have a meeting or a chat, and you can see they were greeting there was hugs and all of them were happy to meet each other that is not the first time Mudavad was meeting with Uhur Kenyatta before also they had met in Burundi in a peace talk mission again Mudavadi met with Uhur Kenyatta there was also a video that was shared they were greeting they were talking to each other and akuna mambo ya beef kama what you would imagine if Uhuru is meeting someone like Irigati Gashagwa. <laughs> so, after this second time, Mdavad meeting with Uhuru Kenyatta outside Kenya, Kenyans are discussing on this issue. What could be cooking between these meetings uh, with Mdavad and Uhuru Kenyatta? Is there a possibility that William Samaruto is trying to reach out to uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta through the Prime Coming Secretary Musadiyam Dabadi. Those are the questions that people are, raise, are raising here. Or other people are asking, is Uhuru Kenyatta trying to amend uh, his broken relation with this current government through the meeting with the Musadiyam Dabadi? After that meeting, there is what uh, the office of the former president, office of the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, Shared and this is what they said. Former President His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta earlier today met with the Prime Cabinet Secretary Honorable Musadam Dabadi in Abuja. The two leaders who were in Nigeria to attend the inauguration of His Excellency Bola Tinubu as the 16th President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But now there is something Mutai Mbunye is also saying on the same, and this is what Mutai Mbunye is saying Uhuru Kenyatta will make peace with the William Ruto because he is peacemaker. He met Mudabadi in Burundi and met Mudabadi in Nigeria. This is not a coincidence. Ruto needs Uhuru. Uhuru needs Ruto. And this is good for country. Madaraka Day. <laughs> now, there is something there on the issue to do with the Madaraka Day. That's why I'm bringing in the uh, tweet from Tainguji in his reaction but again before we go deeper into this to understand really who is looking for who in this scenario yes a big request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel of Papa Samasa thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion so the question is in as much and Uhuru have been meeting who is trying hard to reach out to the other is it Uhuru or William Ruto regime? Because Mdavad here is representing William Samoy Ruto. Again, there could be a possibility of him just representing himself because anyway, there's nowhere Mdavadi and, and Uhuru Kenyatta have been enemies. They have never. <laughs> the person who has become an enemy of the other is Rigade Gashagwa and to some extent Ruto still feel that Uhuru betrayed him because Uhuru decided to support Raila Odinga rather than supporting William Ruto. So he never reciprocate uh, uh, what Ruto did to him in 2013-2017. Instead, Uhuru was looking for someone who can be trusted with leading Kenyans. And that person was Raila Amolo Odinga. Now, in my view, the person who is trying to reach out to the other, it cannot be Uhuru Kenyatta. Because what will be Uhuru looking for in William Ruto's government? This is a failing government. Considering what they have already done to him, going to an extent of sponsoring goons to go and invade the Northland, belonging to the family. To an extent of withdrawing security to Mamangina Kenyatta, someone who is not in active politics. 
to an extent of scaling down his own security. The former president who is entitled to security. Look on how Ruto has sponsored people like Gashagwa, not Gashagwa, Kimani Shungwa, Dindi Nyoro. Then Gashagwa comes in to hype that kind of arrogance, reaction, and uh, you know, when they want to face Uhuru and speak about him and the family, the language there. So Uhuru might not be interested in this regime. But then, Ruto is really the one thing that for him to govern this country in peace, he would need the former president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. This is a man who has the intelligence of this country. He understands this country. Kila Kitwiko on his fingertips. He knows very well. So, possibility of being sabotaged by the people out of his government is there because they have the proper knowledge of this country. So in any way he would try, he would want to treat Uhuru Kenyatta in bad mood, Uhuru might have a way to come back. Again, people are trying to compare what they have been, have been going through in Uhuru Kenyatta's government and now what they are facing through in William Ruto's government. Why are the people crying now? It is not because the previous government was the worst. It is because this kind, this 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 current government is the worst compared to Uhuru Kenyatta's government. Wakati wa kampeni walikuwa nasema Uhuru ni mbaya zaidi, ame mistreat wa Kenya. Lakini sasa sasa hizi wameona Ruto is the worst compared to Uhuru Kenyatta. So the only way to survive is if he can mend his way with Uhuru Kenyatta associated with him so that in that way at least people will have a second thought. But as of now People are now playing the old clips of Uhuru Kenyatta warning them on voting for William Samuel Ruto. The issue of Hasla and all those things that Uhuru mentioned, they are now coming to play. So Ruto is realizing that he needs Uhuru Kenyatta more than any other individual, or more than how Uhuru needs him. The only way to do this is to reach out to him by using a person who is somehow moderate, you know, a person who has no any problem with Uhuru Kenyatta, and that's why you see in all those key events, Gashagwa has been kept busy in, in Mount Kenya region, but Mudavadi has always been sent to represent William Ruto. Rundi, a very high level meeting, Mudavadi and Guahapo. Na wakakua na Uhuru wapo, wakichaka kidogo, wakisalamiana. Nigeria, same thing. So possibility of Ruto using every means possible and every opportunity that he know Ruhuru will be going in this event and to come to come to the end of so that they can talk and uh, negotiate on my behalf is there. Look here. Mutai Mbunya has talked about Madaraka Day. It's going to happen. It's happening in Mount Kenya. And the emerging information that I've seen in the media is that William Samuel Ruto has written an invitation to the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Migai Kenyatta, inviting to attend that Madaraka Day. If Uhuru will attend, that's a former president, he will be granted an opportunity to speak to the people. That will mean publicly Ruto will be trying to create a perception that there's no bad blood between him and Uhuru Kenyatta. Because this is a failed state. So sort they of failed the government. So you can see in all this, the person who is trying every means to reach out to the other, it is William Ruto. Why? He's losing. Mount Kenya is now shifting back to Uru Kenyatta. They have rejected Ruto, uh, Ruto they have rejected Gashagwa because Gashagwa seemingly is working for those who are looking for job in this government. Now and the big boys. Watu Koteni, Mamamboga, Boda Boda, Hawana Nafas. Saizi wale vijana wa maundi Kenya, wanyo walikuwa na hitu hasola, wanaitwa mgeki. Why? Because this government is not ready to fulfill what they promised them. So when they change their mind and decide to support Uhuru Kenyatta, and those who are allied to Uhuru Kenyatta, they become the enemy of this government. And now they start being profiled and referred to as mgeki. That thing is not sitting well with this regime because 
Now, every parent will be protesting against this government once your kid is being profiled as Mungiki. Whether you supported them in the next general election, they will never get that support. This is not sitting well with the William Ruto. So the Shagwa should be a worried man. Because if Ruto is meeting with the, uh, is trying to reach out to Uhuru Kenyatta, the question is, where is the space for Gashagwa? It means Ruto is finding out that he need, right, he need Uhuru Kenyatta more than he needed the Gashagwa. Gashagwa has become a detractor, destroyer, but seemingly what Ruto need more is peace. That peace can be achieved if he has people like Uhuru Kenyatta. And if he can have Uhuru Kenyatta on his side, then that's the only way he can try to reach out to Raila Odinga through now Uhuru Kenyatta. So you see that chain. It means Ruto has failed reaching out directly to Raila Odinga. So the chain is use Mdavadi to reach out to Uhuru. If you win Uhuru, then you will use Uhuru to reach out to Raila. And that way you can govern. But the question is, will Uhuru and Raila accept? That means accepting they are preparing platform on how they will lose election in 2027. Raila cannot buy into that because already he suffered in the handshake. Uhuru Kenyatta cannot go into that direction because then he still believes that his president is Raila Amolo Odinga. He has always said that. And they said they will support Raila Odinga as long as Raila is still in active politics. That tells you that they still have a plan in the next general election. That plan cannot be achieved if they will go in bed with the oppressors and the people who have abused them. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you and see you in our next video.